Hello, this training video by Bruca Micro CT explains how to generate a scale bar or more precisely a scale bounding box in 3D visualizations of Micro CT scan datasets using the two programs from Bruca Micro CT CT Volume for surface rendering and CT Voxel for volume rendering. First, we're going to open a dataset to use as an example. This is a scan of a simple piece of aluminium foam to give us a straightforward three dimensional object to look at. In CT Analyzer, I will skip the ROI since we will image the entire scan. At the binary page, I will apply a Threshold, for example, using the OTSU automatic thresholding method, and proceed directly to constructing a surface rendered 3D model. Before doing so, in the File menu and Preferences and the Advanced tab, we can check on the 3D surface algorithm used for making a model. Out of the three choices, I will choose Double Time Cubes. Now, clicking this button right here, we will create a 3D model. I will call it simply Foam. And of the available types, I will choose CTM as the file type extension. Note that with the tick box selected at the bottom, the program will be auto the model will be automatically opened after construction of the model. So here is CT volume, and here is the 3D model. A couple of preliminary steps. Once opening the model, if we rotate it, we find, as often, that it rotates off-center. This is corrected by having the Object Properties window open, clicking the button right here, and then by Clicking this button at the top, which says Move to Object Center. Move to Object Center. Now, the model occupies the center of the viewing cube and rotations will be symmetrical. To improve the contrast, we will make some small adjustments to the color balance in the object window and to light emitting properties. and we will save that set of visual properties as a material file, clicking up here, Save. So, how do we generate a scale bar? Well, we do so in the following way. Again, in the Object window, we click on the option at the bottom, Bounding Box, right here. As we do so, we see that a bounding box appears around the model, and furthermore, there are scale marks around the sides of the bounding model. At the top right-hand corner, one can see the dimension of each scale bar. Rotating the model, you can see that the scales are displayed at the bottom and at the front. Making a graduated bounding box overcomes one limitation of a scale bar on a 3D model, namely that of perspective. A single scale bar is ambiguous as to which depth within the viewing space it represents. However, one might look at this scale bar and think that the tick marks are too close together. One might prefer them to be further apart. This can be achieved by moving the slider. Once bounding box is ticked, a slider will appear. Moving it to the right, increases the spacing between the bounding graduation tick marks. We push it right to the side, we get a one millimeter distance between the tick marks. 
So this is how we can generate a scale bar. Note, however, that this scale bar appears automatically only when we directly open the model from the CT Analyzer. For example, if I close and reopen CT Volume, reload the same model, let's load also the same property file, the material file, apply the centering so that the rotation is symmetrical, and click bounding box, we get the bounding box. But where is the scale bar? It is not present because, as it were, there is not a live link with CT Analyzer. The program opened the model separately rather than from CTN. However, we can get the bounding marks back using what is a hidden function. We click on the cube and sphere symbol at the top of the object window, this green and purple symbol here. Just click on it with the left mouse and a window opens up asking us to enter the voxel size. Well, what is the voxel size of our scan? Let's go back quickly to CT Analyzer. Under the image menu and properties, we see that the pixel size is 27.84 microns. So that is the number we will enter. We click on this icon up here, the green and purple symbol, we will enter 27.84. Then we enter the enter button, and now the scale box will appear as before around the scale cube or bounding box. And once again, we can change the spacing between the scale bars by moving the slider. So this gives us an option of adding scale marks in CT volume. How about the other 3D visualization program from Bruker Micro CT, CT Voxel? Here is CT Voxel. I'm going to open the same data set. Let's go to Training Datasets, Analysis, Material, and Aluminium Foam. Here is the model. Let's apply a transfer function. Here it is. And again, the option exists to create a graduated bounding box. In this case, it is the symbol along the top menu of buttons right here. This box with dots on it, toggle scale markers. When we click on it, the first thing we see is a row of dots around the margin, with, as before, an indication of the spacing between the dots. Now one might prefer tick marks to dots or beads which is also possible in the options menu, we choose preferences and we see that there is a choice between ticks and beads. We select ticks, then instead we get tick marks around the side and the scale bar indication as in the case of CT volume. Please note that both in CT volume and in CT voxel, the scale bar takes this model color in the case of CT Vox, it takes the color of the bounding cube. We can change the color of the cube in CT Voxel. Enhancing the contrast by changing the background color. And also, in preferences, the clipping box itself can have its color changed according to one's selection. like this. So both programs, CTVOL and CTVOX, we have a way of generating a graduated or scaled bounding box. 
Thank you very much.